Yo, know, today I'm gonna be breaking down how to do this crazy offset vector warp effect in After Effects, so let's hop right into it. First thing you're gonna do is roto brush out your subject. I already did that here. I'm not gonna break down how to do that since it's in so many other tutorials. So this is what the preset looks like. This is from my preset pack, JMO pack volume one on my website. And I'm gonna be breaking down how to do this for you guys for free. And as soon as I drag it on, it looks like this. So the first effect you're gonna add on is the built-in offset effect. And right around here in the clip, you're going to set a keyframe for shift center two at its default position. And then on the first frame, you're going to drag it over to the left a whole bunch of times and i just put it around somewhere like negative 5000 over to the left and i will highlight these keyframes easy ease them using f9 or right click put a keyframe assistant then click easy ease so the next effect i'm going to add on is directional blur this is a built-in after effects effect and right around here i will set the direction to 90 and keyframe the blur length to something like 20 and then when it goes back to normal i'll bring it back down to zero this is going to give it the illusion of some good motion blur right there and now the next effect that i'm going to add on is displacer pro this is not a built-in effect this is a plugin but it's free and it's super easy to use in after effects and super easy to insert into after effects so i'll drop down displacer pro drop down the transform section and set keyframes for translate x and y on the first frame and i'll just bring that in the negative space for the y value and then the the x value as well bringing it over to the left pretty far then i'll set the edge behavior to mirror repeat and on the last frame or near the last frame you're just going to set those back down to zero highlight your keyframes easy ease them open up the graph editor and then i'm just going to drag these values over to the left but it happens fast at the beginning and slowly goes back to normal by the end of the clip so right now so far you have something that looks like this and this doesn't look exactly how i want it to look so you can mess with all of the different keyframes and what i'm going to do is on this offset effect i'll highlight these keyframes after easy easing them and then using the same pattern on the speed graphs we'll just bring these values over like that having it speed up then slow down and now it'll be looking like this now this is another built-in effect I like to use, it's called CC Vector Blur, and I'll just set the amount to something like 10, and it gives a nice little look that I like to use, and then on the last frame, I'll set it back down to zero. And finally, the last thing you can do is drag on a hue saturation effect built into After Effects, and on the first frame, set the channel range on zero, and then on the last frame, I'll bring the master hue over two or three full rotations, I'll do two for this one, and then highlight those keyframes and easy ease them. And what I like to do is add on a bit more saturation. So I'll drag on the lumetri color effect and increase the saturation to 200. Keyframe it somewhere around here. And then as the effect slowly calms down and the clip goes back to normal, I'll bring the saturation back to normal at 100. And now it's up to you what you want to add. You can use some glow. I like to use glow, flicker, and RSMB. RSMB gives a really good natural blur on the whole clip that just brings all of the layers together. And there's an assortment of different effects you can use. You can use turbulent display to add a trippy look as well and if you guys don't feel like dragging on all these effects every time you want to do this effect i made the jmo pack volume one for you guys to save you time so make sure to check that out on my website and you can get 30 percent off today and this next effect i'm going to show you is from jmo pack volume two and i named this preset tricks so i'll just click that and it looks like this and then appreciate it if you guys would subscribe and drop a like on the video because i am leaking the sauce of the music video industry and it would really help me out help me grow my channel so that i can drop more crazy tutorials for you guys i'm gonna keep dropping a ton of videos this month and next month so let's get it